this is actually a wrap up to the Big Pond Brawl tournament that we just concluded. We're sitting here with the first place winning boat, a crew member from the team here uh, from Team Walter. We got Isaac Biggerstaff, and uh, this is kind of really cool because um, I've I've seen you kind of grow up literally the last yeah. however many years. Um, you, you you do a lot of kayak fishing, but uh, recently you and your father got a boat. Yep. And uh, and even then you've started to first mate in the last yep. summer and, and so on. So it's been real cool to see your growth within the fishing. And here you are, our first tournament, and you guys just crushed it. I mean, yeah. you were the first boat in literally yep. to weigh in and you guys had a 75.36 pound for five fish uh total weight and and um you really blew it out of the water i mean the second place boat had 68 so you guys had a comfortable lead you yep. know uh, for a while um walk me through before we even talk about the fishing what you guys were feeling like after weighing in first having that weight what were you the whole two hours you guys were sitting here the hour or whatever it was uh, what were you guys thinking about? How were you guys feeling waiting to find the final result to see if that 75 pound so, was going to hold you guys for first? So the first hour was, it, it was pretty, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. There weren't too many boats coming in. And then once we got to like that, once we got after that first hour mark, there were tons of boats coming in yeah. and all the SU Wisconsin boats are coming in. Yeah. I'm like, dude, those guys are going to have some big bags. I better watch it. <laughs> And there were some guys walking in here, they're, they were thinking that they have like a 70, 80 pound bag. And I'm like, oh shoot. And I'm just watching up there and then they release the weight and I'm like, oh, thank God. But it, it was stressful there for an hour at least. And then within the, within the last half hour, like just a couple boats trickled through, not too many, not too many boats came through. And so we kind of figured that we had won it at that point, but you can't always think that because there's always going to be someone that could come in within like three minutes left. and Yeah, with, with like, right uh, yeah, yeah, with the giant Laker yep. or something. Yep. Uh, you know, I, I talked about during the live show, but, you know, funny enough, uh, the biggest king that was caught today was not, in fact, the, the 21 pound that, that was yep. brought in today. Someone that wasn't participating in the tournament called a 29 pound king. That's crazy. So imagine if they were in the tournament, what that could have done right yeah, there. Yeah, that could have, that could have That's won three fish for most other people that waited. That could have that could have weighed that could have put that could have put them in the money for big fish and if they had it if they had a if they had a good bag they could have they could have even won the tournament with yeah. that fish yeah. that's almost a thirty pound fish that's crazy yeah that that would I, hard to believe that they wouldn't have won everything yep. with that one fish because that's, of yeah. how much weight it is but let's talk about what you guys did you guys fish out of North Point yep walk me through your guys's uh, strategy. You know, in the morning before you headed out, what were you guys thinking about? How were you going to approach your fishing for the so morning? So our approach was we want. So we knew we wanted to launch out of North Point. We didn't really know where we wanted to go at first, but we know we we what we wanted to do is we wanted to get out of those boats first. We just know we just knew there were guys that were going to pound the hills in the morning. Just those fish were going to be, get beat up so quick. So we're like, all right. Let's go and fish Kenosha because we knew in between that stretch between the Kenosha and the border, there weren't going to be too many people fishing there unless people started trolling south and that current getting mess, messing everything up. But once we got out there, we had two king, we had two nice kings within the first hour of being out there. Uh, both came on a wire dipsy with a flasher fly. Um, and then kind of trolled around, caught some cohos there for a little while. Picked up one nice king right before we picked up lines in, uh, in Wisconsin, which is basically where we fished the whole time. We fished all the way down to the border and then came back up and slid out to like, I think we were out in like uh, 120 to 130 is when we got picked up that la last fish up in Wisconsin. And then we headed out to, uh, headed out past um, North Point, fished down towards the North Reef. And that's when uh, we picked up a couple lake trout. We were trying to upgrade our bag, got a couple nice lakers, um, got, and we were feeling good about our bag at that point. And then with 10 minutes left, when we were about to pull lines, our 300 copper with a, uh, right here, this pro king, uh, Kevin's girlfriend, green UV right here, took a uh, 19, almost 20 pound king, and that sealed the bag for us there. And that's what really boosted our confidence there. And it was, when we got that fish in, I, it was all hands on deck. All hell broke loose once we got that fish in. It was it was awesome. So you guys ended up weighing in three kings and two lakers, correct? We we ended up weighing in four kings and one brown trout. 
That's right. Four kings and one brown trout. Four kings and one brown trout. And that brown trout went off uh, almost went just over fourteen pounds. And yeah, it was an impressive brown. Like was, it was a very when you guys opened up the cooler, the first ones here, and I saw I'm like, wow, you guys did good. Yeah. What did the brown trout take? Let's walk us through that one. That what? one, that one took a uh, braid dipsy out. I think it was like, like uh, 175 feet out, and it was uh, moonshine dancing anchovy. I just threw that out. I knew it's good for kings. I'm like, might as well throw it out, see if it gets a king. It was early morning. And it, it pounded that thing like it was going to be a king. Took a really, really nice run. Probably took about 150 feet of line out pretty quick. And then came in and just dogged us right at the back of the boat. It was like a standstill for like 15 minutes. Just I gain an inch, he gains a little bit back. And it was it was a big standstill there for a while. Got uh, It got, got tangled in our... Uh, in our wire line there for a little bit had to get that out that was a pain in the butt but you got the fish in and that's all that matters D did you think it was a king up until you got it up, up to until, the boat up until we got it close to the boat we thought it was a king and then we saw the spots on it and the big broom tail come out of the water i was like oh crap that's a big, big brown, brown. I yeah was, that's the biggest brown trout I've ever caught. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you, you'll see them every once in a while. And you, how deep were you fishing? Or this, at this point, you're what, probably like, like 120. You're about 120, 120. And, and, and you caught it on what again? On a copper? Uh, that was no, that was on a dipsy. On a dipsy. On a dipsy. Yeah, about like 175 on a three setting. That is almost like uh, you don't know. You don't always hear Browns taking that kind of a setup yeah, either, no. which is so such an odd. He must have thought he was a, a king or something like that. Yeah. Um, uh, how did spoons work for you guys? Was, was spoons, it mostly spoons? Caught a couple nice cohos. Uh, we had a super slim, super slim a bomb on a two hundred. Took a really nice coho this morning. Probably around seven pounds would be my guess. Wasn't big enough to weigh, but up until that point, we thought we were gonna have to weigh that fish until we got that last king. Yeah. So you guys covered a, a, a bunch of water. I mean, you crossed over. Yep. You went north. Uh, I'm assuming you saw a lot of boats go straight east or south when yep. you left out. A lot of boats straight east, straight south out of that harbor. Um, I was thinking about setting up in shallower in like 75 because I knew days coming in that there were big fish sitting in there. And that's what I was told to fish, but we just had to, we just set up in like 95 feet of water, trolled south, 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 southwest a little bit because of that current. And that's when those fish started picking up. We started getting them on the wires, had a couple on the long lines. Um, but for the first hour and a half, it was a struggle to keep lines in the water. Especially yep. in a small boat like that, it's hard to manage lines and then also catching fish, fish coming in, all that type of stuff. So yeah, so you're this is your to my knowledge your first ever tournament salmon this tournament is, boat this tournament. Is our, this is our first ever boat tournament. I fished salmonorama last year. Me and my dad fished salmonorama at our kayaks, but yeah. for us, this is our first like big tournament that we've yeah. actually and, in a boat. In. Yep. And you guys walk away with uh, seven seven thousand one hundred thirty three dollars yep. today. That's gonna be feeling good. Yeah feeling real good yeah that's a, incredible man well listen thank you for sharing um you know how the fishing went for you congratulations to you and yep. the team um uh on on a huge accomplishment i guess yeah. it means next year you guys will have to return to the fend might have to <laughs> come out here and do our best yeah no that's all you could do man but it paid off the strategy worked uh again you guys taking first place with a total weight of 75.36 pounds for your five fish four kings one brown Hell of a bag, yep. and uh, congrats again Thanks. on the job well done. Thank you guys for watching uh, today's video on the recap of how the Big Pond Brawl went down for our first place winner, uh, and uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Take yep. care. See you.